this is a guy who he, he put other people before himself and um, you know I, th I just remember the first first day I was on campus at San Diego State and you know one of the first things he said is like yeah you know I'm going to the Hall of Fame this year but I'm just your coach he's impacted so many so many players through the course of the year and I'm just so blessed to be one of them and Steven Strasburg pitching for Tony Gwynn who passed away yesterday and he was an incredible force not only in San Diego FP but also throughout all of Major League Baseball you knew him well well, first of all, that was well said by Steven Strasburg. That's yeah. not easy to stand up and talk about your old coach like that in front of the media. So well done, Steven. And second of all, yesterday was a rough day for everybody. Strasburg had, in fact, I think he still hosted that annual 5K fun run they had in San Diego with Tony to benefit the Aztecs baseball program. Well, it's rough when you lose a member of your fraternity, especially one like Tony that was the best hitter I ever saw on a baseball field and treated me unbelievably throughout my career. So yeah, it was it was a rough one. Only 54, way too young. Robbie Grossman, Ben Keichel. Where it's got a beat on it, and there's one down here in the third. Well, the best there ever was in my mind, with a bat in his hand. Just a magician. Almost like he could stop the pitch halfway, look at the defense and say, this is where I'm hitting it. Inducted in the Hall of Fame with Cal Ripken in, in 2007. And I'll never forget my rookie year. I lined out to left field for the third out. I was standing between first and second. Playing the Padres and Tony runs by with a big smile and says, way to swing it, man. And as a rookie, to have Tony Gwynn tell you that. Major. Big time. Called yeah. my parents after the game. I said, Tony Gwynn said, way to swing it to me tonight. And I'll never forget that. I never had the pleasure of meeting him, FP, but we had him on a pregame show when Strasburg first came up. And he was so gracious, so nice. Well, you know, as a player, you'll send stuff over to the visiting clubhouse and you'll have it signed. So I would take two or three baseballs and say, I want this guy, this guy, this guy, and sign it. And I would give it to Bat Boys. Tony was the only guy throughout my career that when I asked for a ball autograph by him, he said, no, tell FP to come over. I want to meet him. I want to talk to him. I want to get to know him. So he would sign everything for you, but he wanted to know you and meet you and talk to you. So I had to go over with the ball in my hand and say, Mr. Gwynn, would you sign this for me? And I called him Mr. Gwynn because he was that good. And he said, hey, man, how's it going for you? Great swinging God, you're doing great, keep it up. I really enjoy watching you play. And for a young player, I mean, I don't know that any other player does that. They just sign it, they send it back with the Bat Boys, but yeah. Tony always wanted to see you and meet you. And I think that says a lot about the man. An incredible amount of young people whose lives he affected coaching them. At San Diego State. National skipper Matt Williams has some memories and thoughts about the late Tony Gwynn. I've seen one, and that's him. And it, yeah, it's just the the back control that he that he displayed, certainly playing against him and throughout his career, was remarkable. And it's a uh, you know it's. You, you see that once in a generation, maybe. Um, pretty special. Pretty special human, too. The best hitter I ever saw, period.